I'm Lucy and in this video I'm going to show you a really easy calculator trick. When plotting graphs we often have to create a table of values, like for quadratics and cubics. So here is a calculator trick that will really quickly and easily help you find the x and y values for the table of values with no risk of making mistakes. If you have a calculator that looks similar to this, click mode, select 3 table. Your calculator then displays f of x, or maybe it will say y equals. You can enter the equation here, but it will need to be rearranged to y equals first. You cannot enter 3y, for example. So let's enter y equals 3x minus 5. 3 alpha x minus 5. Enter. Let's start at negative 10 and end at 10, because that suits our graph. But you could have any starting and finishing x values. Step 1 means that we'll get every x value, negative 10, negative 9, negative 8, etc. But you can change this if you want. Step 2 just means you would get negative 10, negative 8, negative 6, etc. But I usually just keep it as step 1. So the calculator gives you a table that looks like this. X are the X values and F of X are the Y values. So we have the coordinates negative 10, negative 35, negative 9, negative 32, negative 8, negative 29, and so on, all the way up to 10, 25. A great trick to know to save you time. Just remember that our equations need to be y equals. So for this equation, we'd have to divide everything by 2, and then we could enter y equals 3 over 2x plus 2 into our calculator. You can also enter a quadratic, cubic, or any equation and generate the table of values. You just need to make sure that the equation is rearranged to be y equals. When you're done with your table of values, to get your calculator back to normal, click mode and then one comp. So that's how you use your calculator to find the table of values. <laughs> 